Only 49,000 people live in the Faroe Islands, but they're not the main inhabitants of the islands. The two-legged Faroese are heavily outnumbered by a fluffy four-legged creature, <laughs> sheep. They're evenly spread across the country, living off the luscious grass growing up the volcanic mountain slopes. The sheep were vital for the Faroese of old, not so much for the meat, but mostly because of the wool. Nearly all their clothes were made of sheep wool. The sheep have two sorts of wool. Outside is the coarse, sharp overhair. Then there's the soft undercoat, which the Faroese pulled by hand from the shoddy. The fluffy soft wool was knitted into underwear, and the guard hair was woven into, for instance, jackets, called cot in Faroese, and related to the English word coat of Norse origin. The cot is a woolen jacket, originally woven and sewn far too large, then washed and fulled into the right size. The fulled cloth shrinks until, on account of the natural oil in the wool, it becomes quite water resistant. If you have a proper faro sweater inside the cot, you may be out in all sorts of weather. It's quite well known that these clothes are much better than synthetic, manufactured outdoor clothing. These past few years, we've experienced a fast-growing interest in faro fashion, which in many cases starts with wool. The wool fashion fits in with the new global trend of sustainability and ecology. The future is not plastic fantastic, it is wool.